you were walking around and you had access to a lot of players and you posed a very interesting question to those players. What was the question and what was their response? Who is more important to the success of the New England Patriots? Tom Brady or Bill Belichick? I like that. That's a great question. That's a great question. So generally, what was the response? Split, surprisingly, because I'm the guy that believes the quarterback is more important. I, I, think, I don't think Belichick would win five titles or four titles without Tom Brady. He might have won one. I think Brady would have won a couple if he went somewhere else. So I think the quarterback. But the players, surprisingly, split down the middle. A lot of guys said it's the quarterback. A lot of guys said it's the coach. And some guy said, I'm not going near that. There's, you can't decide between the two of them. One has to have the other. One has, you know, Tom needs Bill. Bill needs Tom. I said, I don't think there's much of an argument that Belichick is the best coach in the NFL, maybe the best coach ever. But if you ask those same guys, who's the best quarterback playing right now, generally, what do you think the response would be? It would be Brady, I think. But you could, some people would make the case for Aaron Rodgers, too, as well. So I, I think you could get a split there. I think Belichick is arguably the greatest coach of all time. I really do. But that tells you the importance, in my, my view, of the quarterback position because I would take Brady over Belichick. All right, so does he need to win this game for you to feel that way, or do you already feel that way about Belichick? It, it, you know, Paul Brown back in the day, you know, if you really want to split hairs, what he did back with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, you know, Don Shula, look at all the games the guy won. Uh, I mean, so there's an argument for a lot of people. But if you look at this, this is a dynasty. This is the true dynasty. You know, back in the day, people said the Steelers were a dynasty. They kept everybody. It was easy to be a dynasty. This is a true dynasty over the course of this whole run that they're on in free agency with different guys year in and year out. This is the true dynasty.